is the San Francisco police in riot gear at 22nd and Mission. <laughs> getting bombarded with glass bottles from so-called Giants fans. If you fail to return to the sidewalk, you are subject to arrest. To get you to this point, it's important that we rewind the video to about right here. <laughs> this is fans cheering the final out of the Giants winning the World Series, which includes illegal fireworks. San Francisco Giants Jubilant fans were jumping up and down on trash cans and honking their horns at Civic Center Plaza as well. However, over at 22nd and Mission, the streets were full of people behaving badly by setting fires like this one. Here, people were also jumping up and down, sometimes through the flames, and at least one not quite making it through. To prove I was at 22nd and Mission, I will give you a sign. A complete sign that became an Instagram favorite for many. For some people, it became an opportunity to spray paint anything they could, even the crosswalks. The more people drank, the rowdier they became. And the more stuff they kept adding to the fire, like this chair. Now, some people were out trying to help others, like this woman trying to help a driver navigate through the rowdy crowd. 22nd and Mission was not the only place where fires were set. This is 22nd and Valencia, where taking a photo in front of the fire seemed to be the normal thing. It was the same at 18th and Valencia as well. Which brings us back to the reason why the San Francisco police were at 22nd and Mission in riot gear, taking bottles from people in the crowd. There were some arrests at this location and police were pretty close to using tear gas and beanbag rounds. There is no way these people could be real Giants fans. They were just people who needed a reason to create mayhem. One man yelled at the police, you think Occupy was bad? You ain't seen nothing yet. Now how could the Giants winning the World Series be anywhere associated with the Occupy issue? In San Francisco, Stanley Roberts, Crime 4 News.